Hello again everyone and in this uh, quick tutorial video we are going to discuss how to create a material library in Abacus. So this is a very very useful tool actually. So if you are already a regular user of Abacus you know that every time you create a new model in Abacus you need to go to the property module and you need to define uh, whatever the number of materials that you need in your model. And uh, if you, again, as a, if you are a regular user, this becomes a tedious task because every time you create a new model, you need to create the materials again. Uh, so this is especially true if you are uh, using like common uh, materials every time. So here we are going to, to, again, to discuss this useful tool that you can create a material library. So pretty much you are going to define these materials just one time, and then you are going to add these materials to a material library. And then in the future, whenever you open uh, Abacus uh, at any time, you can just import uh, these ma predefined materials from the material library without the need to redefine them uh, again from the start. Uh, all right, so how can we do that? Well, over here, I'm now right now in the property module. And if you look here on the left, you will see three tabs. The third one, it says material library. And if I click on that, uh, right now, I don't have any material library uh, defined, so it's blank over here. But actually, if I uh, click on this one, material library manager, uh, again, there is nothing here, but I can create a new uh, material library. So if you go ahead and click on create, so you just need to give a name for the material library. I call it here material library, just for short, and this will be saved as a plugin and it will be saved in the plugin directory, the default plugin directory. Now this directory, typically, if you go in your Windows machine, so this will be under the C drive, the operating system drive, under Windows, under system 32, there will be a folder called abacus underscore plugins, and this plugin will be saved inside this folder. Uh, so right now, if I go back to abacus and actually click on OK, and say save changes right here and if i go back to my directory you will see right now that i can find uh, the plugin file so here you go it's called matlibrary.lib so this is an object file library and now it's in this uh, abacus plugin uh, folder uh, so right now let's go back to abacus so right now this material library is showing over here and it's also showing over here but underneath this library there are no materials defined yet that's why we don't see anything so that's why we need to add some materials to this material library so how can we do that uh, well uh, let me close this window now so let's create some default materials so uh, here i will just create i will not go through an actual creation of a material I'll just give an example so let's say that you create a material, you call it steel, and then you define the material parameters. Uh, I don't care about the number, okay, any numbers, whatever. You can add all the definitions, plastic, elastic, whatever the material is. So let's say that this is a material, steel over here, and then you create another material, uh, let's say concrete for instance, and again, uh, you define some values, whatever they are, uh, okay, whatever they are, any numbers, okay, uh, yes, okay, so doesn't matter, I'm just giving you an example. So it could be one, could be 100 materials, whatever, uh, the default materials that you use uh, on a regular basis. And now you have your materials. So right now, let's add those materials to this material library. So let's go back to the material library manager uh, and right now you will see here on the right hand side you will see the materials that we just defined under model number one so you just need to select whichever materials that you want to add and then you select on this button over here to copy the materials from the model to the material library so if i use these two like this so right now I move them to my material library and then I can say save changes and that's it and then I click save it changes and then I can click dismiss so you will see right now that 
under material library now I can see the two materials like this so what will happen is that if I close Abacus and then if I reopen Abacus again all right to create a new model if I do that then in this case I will not have these two materials they will not be there it will be a blank model right but in the same time when I go to the my property module and if I go to material library I will find this material library already there and then if I want to use the steel material in my new model I just need to click on the steel over here and then you click on this icon that says add the material to the current model so if I do that then you see here it says the material steel has been copied, copied to the current model and actually if you go here to the material manager now you will see it already imported so this means that I don't need to redefine it again. So this is a very, very useful tool. Uh, and it can, if you create your own material <coughs> library, it becomes much, much easier. And you can, of course, so you can, of course, share this material library file. Again, uh, we mentioned this is the one saved over here in this plugin uh, directory. You can share this file with other uh, collaborators uh, within your uh, group so that they can uh, all use the same material if you modify uh, the material let's say or you create a new material let's say that you create a new material you call it uh, uh, I don't know rubber or something like that whatever it is you create a new material uh, in your model okay whatever the values and then you want to add this new material rubber to this existing material library. So you will do the same steps. You just need to click on the material library manager. You need to click on this new material and again, add it to the material library. And then you click on save it changes. So that's it. So whenever you create a new material that you know that you are going to use in the future, then you can keep adding it to your material library. And this will facilitate again, uh, and make it faster for you in the future whenever you're creating a new models uh, so that's it for uh, how to create a material library a very very useful tool again uh, in abacus uh, keep in mind also that uh, so the directory as we mentioned this is the directory under windows system 32 abacus underscore plugin and sometimes it's it could be saved here under the installation directory the c drive under users under your username, under abacus underscore plugin. So sometimes it could be used in this other folder as well. Just uh, be informed of that. But anyway, so this is the material library file. That's it. Then you can save it uh, with others uh, as you wish. Uh, personally, I have my own material library. And actually, let me put it over here. So this is my material library file. So I can... Uh, add it over here to my directory and this material library file actually this is the one that I keep saving my materials over there if I actually close abacus and open it again let me do that quickly so I opened abacus again as you see here if I go back to property material library so this is my materials so as you see here uh, this is my material library and over here I have too many uh, materials that I have already defined in the past for different types of steel, for concrete damage, for uh, steel rebar, uh, studs, uh, shear connectors, uh, many, many materials. So uh, whenever I define something new that I want to keep, I keep adding it to this material library and then I can use in the future. So again, that's why it's very, very useful. Uh, so that's it for this uh, tutorial. Thank you for watching.